excited to show you how to make this pillowcase in about five minutes. It's a super quick project and it puts together really nicely. There's a secret to how to put the binding on that makes it feel like magic. Okay, so let's jump right in. This is the five minute pillowcase. Um, it's a magic trick almost to the way it comes together, the magic pillowcase. It makes sewing pillowcases super easy and it hides the seams on the binding, which make it look very polished and professional. So let's jump right in. You are going to need um, about three-fourths a yard of your fabric that is 45 wide, three-fourths this way. So we've got that. And then about maybe a fourth a yard, maybe a little bit more wide of your binding fabric, which is the black, also 45 wide. This binding fabric I've already sewn an applique onto, so if you're gonna wanna do something like an applique, you want to do that first. Okay, so you're gonna take your main fabric with the right side up, open it out, we're going to attach the binding. We're going to do that by putting right sides together like this and then sewing along this whole edge. So I'm going to go pop over and sew that edge really quick. Okay, so you can see that I sewed across the top to add the binding to the main fabric. They were right sides together. It goes all the way across the top. I've already started the next step on this side. That's why it's kind of um, bunched. But next step is to make the magic happen. We're gonna make a tube. So you're gonna take your whole project and flip it over. And then you're going to roll up the main pillowcase fabric. Almost to the sewing, but leaving a couple of inches. Then you'll expose the binding part. You're gonna take that other edge of the binding wrap it around your pillowcase and line it up with this top already stitched seam. When you do so, you wanna be sure not to get the pillowcase caught in that seam. So you kinda of keep it pushed down and you're gonna line this up. So I've done that on this side already. As you can see, it's sewn along and it's a tube and it has the pillowcase inside. So you're gonna sew that seam all along the way, making a tunnel to hold the pillowcase out of your binding. Okay, so we're all done sewing that edge, making our tunnel or our tube that has our pillowcase inside. The next step is to take the pillowcase out. So you're gonna reach down in there, just kind of work the binding right side out, and as you do so, your pillow case, the main fabric, will come out of the tube. This is the magic reveal time, because as you can see, we've started, we've got our rectangle with a binding on top, and you can see that there is no exposed seams to your pillowcase. This is encased and the front side, both encased inside this tube. So the binding went on and it's gonna look amazing to have it encased so if people ever see the edge of your pillowcase, it still looks great. So the final step is to fold your pillowcase in pillowcase form like this. And then just to sew along this edge and along this edge. And that is all there is to it. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so you can see that the binding was already added and that I sew the side edge and the bottom edge of the pillowcase. Simply turn it right side out. And there it is. A pillowcase that just takes a few minutes to make and has an amazing secret for sewing without showing the seams on the binding. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn about the applique that's on this pillowcase, be sure to find that video on my channel. And be sure to see all the other fun craft projects I have going on here at Sugar Bee Crafts YouTube channel. Where the binding is, 
there are no seams. 